there one thing that stands out to you most about this week of practice that maybe you're most happy with? Or? Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, as, as training camp goes on and evolves, you know, I think your timing with your receivers and, you know, all that stuff continues to be a little bit better. And um, the way that we've done this training camp is we've had, you know, three practices at uh, the same install, which I think has, has allowed for young guys to, to step up and, and uh, play fast. You know, there's, there's usually a, a learning curve as, as new guys get in the offense. And it says, you know, this is our first full weekend of practice, and you've seen that. Jason, when you guys are doing, like, the position-specific stuff, I see you guys throwing into the nets, you're trying to throw into, like, the trash cans and stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I know that stuff, you're actually, like, working on specific things there, but having the actual competition aspect of that, too, it seems like you guys enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a it's a fun way to, uh, to get good drill work in, and, you know, we're all, we've been playing sports since we were little kids, and so it's all about competing, and if there's nothing on the line, then... You know, it feels, feels a little bit different. So we certainly have a lot of fun with it, um, but it definitely gets competitive. Who's winning right now? Honestly, that's a good question. We we have been, like, back and forth trying to figure out what, what's on the line here. And uh, I don't know that we've been keeping too close to the track because we don't know we don't know what it's for. So I, I don't have an answer for you. Taking when you mentioned the younger guys have been installed repeatedly and played a little bit faster, does that allow you to be a little bit more decisive? For sure. Yeah, for sure. I think anytime as a QB, as you come out and you see guys that break the huddle, line up, sprint to where they're supposed to be, and then as you see guys run the run the right routes, getting in and out of the breaks, um, as a QB, that's that's what you want to see. You know, we're always working on decision making and timing and and uh, and all of that. But it's a it's a two way street, and so as you see that. Your confidence as a quarterback to let that ball go um, when you need to is, is much higher. Jason, how, how do you decide how often to run in practice since there's really no threat yeah. to actually being tackled and you can go further into progressions? Does that feel like I don't need to work on taking yeah. off and running in practice? Yeah, I think that's an instinctive thing for me, you know, um, and I think that's, that's one of those things that as someone who can run and you have the ability to make plays with your feet that um, – I feel really comfortable doing that. Um, and so when I'm out of practice, there's a situation today where I would have ran in a, in a game situation, but I want to work on stepping up, getting the ball out, working through my progression and everything else. So, um, you know, I think that there's a balance of making it game-like, you know, to where you're taking off and making plays like that. But uh, in a practice setting, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on getting through a progression. How, how do you think you'll treat the preseason? Would it be similar or once I'm gonna treat live it, tackling? I'm going to treat it like a game. Yeah. Just like a game. Yep. Okay, so what are some of the things you look at when you're evaluating your performances? I think you kind of get caught up in complete and complete. But like, I'm sure you're looking at a much more refined yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and we've talked about this before. You know, I think that makes a cute quarterback great is – you know, his decision making, his accuracy, timing. And so as I'm evaluating my film, um, those are the things that I'm paying attention to. You know, obviously complete and complete and uh, there's matchup, personnel things, stuff like that. But um, there are three things that I, I pay attention to. You know, the decision making, was the accuracy there, was it complete and complete, you know. Um, and those are, those are what I evaluate. Have you seen a lot of growth from Marquez Galloway this summer and how he carries himself and how he's performing, or, or he's just getting an opportunity and he looked like this last summer too? Yeah, I, I think Quez is one of those guys that when when he's had the opportunity, he's taken advantage of it. So I have not seen Quez have an opportunity and, and not you know step up to it, and, and we saw that last year. Um, I think we're seeing that this camp where Quez has, has played really well. His opportunity is, is, uh, is really high, and... He's, he's making plays. As you're going through, you're cycling these other receivers as you're going through a quarterback competition, you know, how, what's the process of getting like comfortable with new receivers, guys who just get signed, you know, how does that kind of play out? Yeah, it, it's certainly a process. You know, we were kind of talking about that earlier. When you, when you see guys getting in and out of the huddle up to the line of scrimmage and running the right thing and, and the right depth and their break and everything is, is, is uh, where it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be, your comfort level to throw it on time increases significantly. And, and I would say I don't necessarily need the rep with this young guy to see what he's doing. You know, if I, if I see him doing the right things, I'm going to trust him to and, and cut loose.
it's with this bigger uh, role as Drew played and like setting protections and stuff like that. Um, how, how big a part of that uh, is this right now, and, and just kind of getting on the same page with everybody, and getting everybody in the right spot? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's 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 very important. Um, you got to make sure you're protected. You know, as a QB, you got to know where you're hot and if you're hot and and uh, where those throws are. Um, but I, I would say, you know, we're we're. The process of doing that might be a little bit different. We're putting some responsibility on the centers and and so forth, but ultimately it's our responsibility to make sure that we know where the hot's coming if we are hot and, and making sure that we're doing this the right way. Um, and uh, I, I think the process of doing that has been no different than you know what Drew was uh, was doing when he was here. I just have a quick one on what you're actually seeing on the other side of the line of scrimmage, just from your position, um, 11 on 11, and maybe watching the film. With all the turnover on the interior defensive line, mm -hmm. do you get a sense or have any impressions of how the guys who are filling in there are, are doing in terms of being disruptive? Yeah, I, I think they're doing doing really good. You know, I think a day like today, third down, you know, they put in a little pressure package and stuff, so you felt a little more pressure from those guys, but. I would also say that it's it's not, uh, I don't know how fair it is in practice when they're staying away from us, but there's plenty of guys that, that are showing up on film and guys that are making plays up front. And, you know, I, I just feel like this, this place has done such a good job personnel-wise, bringing in the right guys, putting them in the right situations to be successful that, um, you know, I've, my concern around that stuff is just not very high. You mentioned your... your I don't know about weight loss, but the rebuilding your body in a, a different way. Did that help with your mechanics? Is that something you felt like you needed to do to, to improve something? I don't think the weight loss uh, improved my mechanics, um, but part of you know training to be quarterback is is flexibility. Uh, certainly, a strong backside shoulder. Our guy Will Clapp could could attest to that. <laughs> uh, but um, you know, and so those those are the things that that I was I was working on. So. Um, I think any time you can improve the strength of a backside shoulder, your flexibility, that that will um, help in throwing the ball. So was losing weight a goal, or was that just a byproduct of you changing pizza? Um, I just felt like, you know, if, if I'm not going to be blocking defensive ends and backers and safeties and stuff, that I didn't need to carry the extra weight. Mason, is this your nat kind of more of your natural, what you would naturally carry in your frame? Uh, yeah, this is this is a good weight. I'm like 225 right now, and it's a good weight for me. I was, I was told you're a scratch golfer. Has that affected? <laughs> at all? Has that affected what? Has that affected your golf? Your no, handicap? no. Well, football has certainly affected my <laughs> handicap. But before we reported for camp, it was, it was pretty strong. Like where? Uh, I was playing. I was playing at a four before I reported to camp. Four. Yeah. All good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jason.